Gradients made a serious comeback in 2016, with many companies redesigning their websites and apps using this effect, and for good reason. It makes content stand out and look professional. You can achieve a similar effect for your tutorial slides using nothing but PowerPoint. Today, you'll learn how to create the radial gradient. Start with a blank PowerPoint presentation, right click the slide and select Format Background. First, you want to select Gradient Fill from the drop-down list. Then change the background type from Linear to Radial. Next from the Direction drop-down list, select From Center. Before you choose the colours for your background, make sure there are only two gradient stops, which are these tabs on the slider. Select a stop and then click Remove Gradient Stop. Do the same for the other one, and this will leave you with just two stops. Just make sure they're sitting at the opposite ends of the slider. The stop on the left affects the middle section, and the other one, the darker edges. If you have PowerPoint 2013 or later, you can use the eyedropper tool to replicate a colour scheme. To do this, paste an image onto the slide. Select a stop. Click the colour drop down arrow and then eyedropper. Hover over the image until you find the desired colour and then click. Repeat the same process with the other stop. If you have an older version of PowerPoint, you'll need to type in the RGB codes. I'll start with the stop on the left. Select the colour drop down arrow and then more colours. Make sure custom is selected and type in the following codes for blue. Select the second gradient stop and type in the codes for dark blue. And there you have it, a nice looking radial gradient for your PowerPoint slide. Now it's your turn. Experiment with the gradient fill feature and make your own designs. If you want a copy of the exact template used in this tutorial, visit slideteam.net and download it from their blog post. You can also check out the articles for this tutorial in the description notes below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.